what's up guys it's alina and today i am going to be doing a little bit of a longer video um today i'm going to be taking out my box braids and i'm also going to be talking about my natural hair journey so if you guys didn't know um last year around april i did a big chop i'm going to be showing you guys like products that i've been using telling you guys a story about what happened to my hair and just like the whole shebang so i'm also going to be washing and blow drying my hair today which are like my two least favorite activities so yeah let's get right into the video all right so i've had these braids in only for like about a month almost a month so i'll just show you guys like what it's looking like so i have like a lot of new growth um, i started using like the wild growth oil um so this is how it's looking after like a month um before once upon a time, I used to leave my box braids in for like two months, but I don't do that anymore. That's like really, really bad for your hair. I'm really just going to go the whole way back to the beginning because that's really how it's going to make sense. Um, So I, when I was little, um, I have 4C hair, by the way. So, okay, on the spectrum, one is like bone straight and 4C is like the kinkiest of all kinks and coils in hair. That's what I have. So... I've had a very, very difficult experience with my hair because it is 4C. So throughout my whole childhood, um, basically from the ages from 5 up until I got to high school, I was relaxing my hair. Um, and obviously it wasn't by my choice at that time. I had a hairstylist that had recommended it to my mom. She was like, oh, like you should really like relax it just to make it more manageable and this person was a person that obviously didn't have 4C hair, a person that had never dealt with 4C hair before. So she was my hairstylist for many, many years. I also had kind of like no edges. I had no edges in a receding hairline. Like now I have like edges and you can like see them, but before I didn't have any. Um, so when I was in high school, I decided that I was going to stop relaxing my hair. I never did a big chop at that point. When I decided to do that, I just like let it grow out and I was like cutting the ends as it was growing out. So I had like this whole hair like curly and then the ends were straight and that's what I was like cutting off. Um, so at that point, sometime between 9th and 10th grade, I decided to start using crochet hair. And crochet hair is very, very good. Uh, very, very good protective style for 4C hair and it really does help with hair growth and i'm not here to bash crochet hair at all during this video but i did use crochet hair back to back basically like for many many years many many years that i would like take it out and do it the same day i would take it out or do it the next day like my hair really didn't have time to rest so i wasn't also i also wasn't really taking care of my hair while it was in a protective style which was not good at all like you can't get box braids or passion twists or any type of crochet hair and not take care of your natural hair because it'll damage it and it'll start to fall out i want to say like in january a little bit like i think it was january of last year it was like right after either right before or right after i had covid like i had very very bad hair loss in the back of my head so actually, I'll show you guys right now that it's actually like filled in. I'll show a picture of what it used to look like and I'll show how it has filled in now. But this is like the bottom. I actually had this like shaved for quite a while because it was just growing so unevenly. So all of this, I had like an undercut and now it's like growing even. So that's why more of the hair is picked up. But that was like the first spot that started to get like really, really sparse. And honestly, I was kind of like in denial at first that it was falling out. So I continued like doing whatever it is that I was doing. And then like the next time that I did my hair, which was actually like right before I went into the hospital in February, was when I realized that I had hair loss like here, like basically like right here, this whole area, I'll insert pictures, like it had started to fall out like it was basically like already gone by that point like there wasn't really anything that i could do to like reverse it um so during that time i was going through like a lot of different things like last year was probably one of the worst possible years of my life and i don't want to say that the crochet hair by itself was what damaged my hair 
I really think that it was a combination of occurrences that caused my hair to fall out. So while it could have like while the crochet hair could have been a factor, I don't think that that is the sole factor that caused my hair to fall out. I wasn't really taking care of myself as much as I should have. I was just like really really stressed and really anxious all the time. So I think that like all of that stuff together in addition to like the tension that was on my head is really what like caused all of the damage. The last straw before I cut it was basically like I think it was like in April like right before my birthday that I took out my hair and it was like gone gone I was like oh shoot and I had also decided at that point to get like crochet box braids because my hair wasn't long enough anymore like in the front to do these regular box braids and that was possibly the worst decision that I could have made because like the hair was so thin that like she was the the girl that does my hair she was crocheting it and it was like snapping off like as she was putting it in but like and my head was also like throbbing for many many weeks i had that hair in for about three to four weeks and my head like this spot in particular was throbbing every single day and i can tell you right now if your hair is throbbing period you need to take it out like you should not be leaving it in and hoping that like the tension will release in a few days no like you need to take it out um but i left it in and even when I took it out at the end of April and I switched to a wig, like my head was still throbbing really, really badly. Um, so it subsided after a while, but at that point I realized that I had to do like the big chop. So in April, I did the big chop and I didn't like shave my head. I basically just cut it down to like probably like about an inch. And so that's where I have been so obviously I still now, I, I still do crochet hair, I still do braids, um, but now I've also added like wig, it, wig <laughs> I have also added wigs into like my rotation so it gives my, my hair more of a chance to rest. Um, I've been a lot more diligent about like oiling my hair, putting like leave-in conditioner, moisturizer in it multiple times a week and so my hair is a lot more hydrated now. Oh, that's another thing, like my hair was coming out in clumps, like... Oh my gosh like I don't think I've ever seen anything so bad and for a long time my mom was like oh it's just like shedding like whatever because you had your hair in for like two months but no like it was actually like falling out a lot and so now my hair is a lot more it's stronger it's healthier it's longer and it's growing a lot faster like I had actually gotten stuck at a specific length for a really long time just because like I don't know, I wasn't taking care of it. My hair was like super dry, super brittle, even though it was really, really long, like it just wasn't healthy. So I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, but this is the first time in a long, long time that I've like gotten braids like back to back. Like I usually switch to like, if I wasn't going on vacation, like I would have put on a wig like after this hairstyle, like today I would have put on a wig. But since I'm going on vacation, wigs are not vacation friendly at all. So. I've already been talking for a very long time. I'm just gonna speed through the rest of this process um, and I will see you guys hopefully when I finish. <laughs> multitasking so I have to go get my laundry but the next thing that I'm gonna do quick is pre-poo I don't usually do this but because I don't have like the root rinse I usually use like the Cantu root rinse to like break up all of this buildup that I have from the gel um, but I don't have that so I looked at some stuff online and they were saying that pre-poo really helps with the detangling process and it makes it a lot faster I'm gonna stretch it out later um, so this is not like it's not fully stretched so obviously it's like a little bit longer than what it looks like here um, there's definitely more hair on this side than on this side and so I'll show you guys like what my hairline looks like now compared to last year because I showed you guys the pictures so this side is a little bit so okay actually let's start with saying that like this hairline is actually genetic like pretty much everyone in my family they all have like this that it's like goes back like this and then it comes down like i actually thought that it was like actual hair loss but i went to panama and i realized that like all of my cousin's hairline is also like that so this is like a little bit further back than i would like but 
I've spent like a year trying to grow at least just like this little square and it's not growing back, which is fine. Um, the box braids or any type of thing that I have, it usually like covers it so you can't really see it. But this is the other side. I'm a lot happier with how this side looks. So I'll show the back. So this is like what I had cut. I had it cut like pretty much the whole way up here. So this has been growing back pretty well. And like this, the lady that did my box braids the last time, she's so awesome, but she like picked it up and I had like three braids on the really, really short hairs that were at the bottom. And then like within like a week of me having the braids and they came out because the hair was too short. So I did break off the hair a little bit. Okay. So this is what I'm going to be using. This was recommended. I saw this on TikTok. I saw it on YouTube. Like literally everybody that has 4C hair was talking about it. So this is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. It helps to minimize breakage for natural corals and coils. So you basically put this in your hair um, before you wash it. Leave it in for 15 to 30 minutes and then you rinse it. So... I'm probably going to end up leaving this in for more than 30 minutes because just I have other stuff to do before I wash my hair. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Oh, it smells nice and fresh. I like that. So my hair has been pre-pooing for, I want to say like 20 minutes and it's going to have to stay like this for at least another hour because I have to get on a prayer call in like 30 minutes. Uh, I'm like so winded from walking up and down the stairs, but people, they ask me all the time. I actually was thinking about this when I put on the shower cap. They're like, Alina, why don't you wear your hair out? Why don't you wear your hair out? Your hair's so long. Do you want to see like... Do you see how short it is like now that it's wet? This is really why I don't wear it out. I do not know how to deal with this shrinkage. I do not know how to elongate my hair. <laughs> like as soon as it gets wet, it shrinks up and it's actually gonna get worse than this. Like this was just from putting the pre-poo. Like if I put like just regular water, like right now when I'm gonna get in the shower, you're gonna see that this is gonna like shrink even more. Like my hair just absorbs it. But it's currently 9.50. I wash my hair. And actually, the pre-poo, 20 out of 10. Like, it made the shampooing process so much easier. I think I washed my hair in, not including the deep conditioning. I think I only it only took me, like, 15 minutes, which is so rare. So, I was so happy. <laughs> I finished blow drying um this half of my hair um it's definitely not as stretched as it could be like I've had it more stretched but I don't have like the blow dryer attachment that will make it be like super long um i'll insert a picture well a video of the last time that i did my hair um that the lady that did it like she obviously has like the blow dryer attachment so my hair was like stretched so so far out and you can see that i actually still have like a little bit more to go but like realistically like this is not really even what matters it's more so the root so like as long as the root is flat that's really all that matters and she'll just have to deal with the rest of it i was really talking this entire time and like the camera was not recording but anyways i finished and i'm actually very surprised with how stretched i got it like i usually i don't know it's usually not as stretched as it is today so i'm really happy honestly i'll show you guys what the back looks like so um i'm really happy with my progress so far it's been almost a year I think I'm at like I'm at like 10 almost 11 months since my big chop so I'm really really happy with my progress um my hair is pretty much already 
in less than a year it's already grown maybe like to half of where it was um so i'm really really happy about that um every single day like even as my hair is in box braids is in a wig or whatever it's in i'm still learning how to take care of it how to manage it what products work best for me it's always a learning process so i'm really excited to continue on um with this journey and to continue sharing my progress with you guys if you guys do have any questions about big chop natural hair care um i will do my best to answer them in the comments even though i'm like still learning but i can definitely um speak about my experience um if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what videos you want to see next and subscribe to my channel the subscribe button is down below along with all of my social media links my instagram my tiktok my twitter and my spotify and i will see you guys next week